I'm a great admirer of the humanities like, and of the universities. I mean, the, hum the humanities, you learn to be a citizen through the humanities. The humanities are at the core of Western culture. If they go, we're in trouble. So the problem is, is that what's manifesting itself as the humanities in the universities is no longer the humanities. It's something almost virtually the opposite of that. And so, and so when I tell people not to go to humanities courses in the universities, it's with a very heavy heart, believe me. You know, now the question is, where do you go instead? Well, that's a good question. You can always read. You know, one of the things that's really cool about Amazon is all the great books are free. They're literally free. You can go download them on your Kindle for nothing. The copyright has expired, and people have been putting electronic versions online. So the great books of the Western world, and e even many of the great books of the 20th century, are now available completely for free. Well, so you can read them. There's lots of information to be garnered now on YouTube, and that's really going to explode over the next 10 years. And I mean, one of the things I want to work on, probably over the next 10 years, is to set up a humanities university online. And I'm starting to work, I already have some programs online, they're called self-authoring programs, and they help people write. And partly, we designed them to help people learn to write, as well as to help them write about themselves. So the self-authoring programs help people write an autobiography and analyze their personality, faults and virtues, and lay out a future for themselves. And when we've had students do that, do the future authoring program, it's so cool what happened was that um, their, the probability that they would stay in school went up by about 30%. But something even cooler happened. It worked best for the worst performing students. So we did a lot of it in Holland at a business school called Erasmus. Uh, there's, a, there's a school of management, Rotterman, Rotterdam School of Management at Erasmus University. And we ran several, I think it's about 10,000 people through the future authoring program now. And what happened, if you looked at the academic performance of the students, the Dutch women, the native ch Dutch women, were at the pinnacle. And then it was the Dutch men below them. Now, the women were in a minority, and they were probably a little more highly selected, right? So maybe that accounted for the performance gap. And then underneath that, there was female non-Western ethnic minority immigrants. And then below that were male non-Western ethnic minority immigrants. And there was a massive gap between the Dutch women and the male non-Western minority immigrants, like a performance gap of about 80%, a massive gap. Within two years after writing the future authoring program, the male non-ethnic Western minority students passed the Dutch students. Yeah, and some of them didn't even remember that they had done the future authoring exercise. And we replicated that at Mohawk College just a while back. Same thing, the young men who went to Mohawk College, they did this exercise in the summer just before they went to college. They only took about an hour to write out their future. It's not that long to think about your whole future. And what happened was that the young men who had the worst grades in school, who were in non-career oriented trajectories, had a retention improvement of about 40%. So, yeah, so that was just like, we were just thrilled about that. So, so the reason I'm telling you all of this story, apart from the fact that it's vaguely interesting, is that um, we are experimenting with technologies to teach people how to write. Now, normally the way you're taught how to write is by having someone edit your writing, but that's prohibitively expensive. I don't think it, it, it can be transformed in something that's available on a mass basis. And so what we're trying to do is to break down the process of writing into its requisite steps. That's kind of what behavioral psychologists do. We've done that already a bit with, these, with this essay writing format. And then to, to sort of teach people what the mechanics of writing actually are, and then maybe to try to figure out how to crowdsource editing so that many, many people can participate in the process. But we'd like to set up a, an online humanities university over the next 10 years. And since the universities have abandoned their intellectual property, there's no reason not to just move in and take it, as far as I can tell. So that's the plan. <laughs>